21.51 Uhr, herzlich willkommen. Spieltagspressekonferenz, in dem Fall Pressekonferenz, Achtelfinale, Hinspiel Champions Hockey League zwischen Red Bull München und dem äh, Team aus Zug, EV Zug, ganz genau so ist es. Und natürlich sind auch beide Trainer da, darf ich herzlich begrüßen. Das ist Dan Tenjes zu meiner rechten, Coach von EV Zug und Red Bull München natürlich, ebenfalls der Trainer hier, Don Jackson. Das Spiel endet 5 zu 1, das Hinspiel 5 zu 1 für Zug. Offiziell sagen das Spiel 4.283 Zuschauer. Und wie immer darf ich den Gästecoach als erstes bitten, das Spiel aus seiner Sicht zusammenzufassen. So, then here's David on the game, please. Yeah, obviously, we got a flying start there with uh, three goals in the first period. Uh, I think we scored on the chances we had in the first. Munich had a big chance they didn't score on. And um, yeah, that gave us the flying start that we wanted. Uh, second period, I think we, we played really strong. Probably one of the best periods for a long time uh, for our team. And uh, spent a lot of time in their zone. Um, and third period is, this is a tough mental period for us. We have one team with everything to lose and one team, team with everything to win. And uh, I think, um, Uh, we would we would like to look a little bit better than we did in the third period. I think they were uh, spent a lot of time in our zone and got a lot of high end chances. But good goaltending by Genoni uh, protected the lead and, and um, obviously we set us up before the return game in, in uh, Zug next week. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, Don five one loss against Zug in the first game. So you statement on the game, please. Yeah, um, you know congratulations, Dan. Uh, I thought your team played great. Um, I'd have to say that uh, I'm really embarrassed about you know our response uh, uh, to everything that they did on the ice, especially in the first period. Second period, the same. Um, uh, we were just uh, inept out there. Um, we we're looking for answers, of course, um, and certainly uh, you know the skating, passing, and shooting is a good place to start because that's what it was all about. Um, you know, they walked in our zone and uh, they walked in the net front. And nobody touched anybody uh, on that first goal against. Uh, you know, we walked away from a guy standing all by himself and uh, nobody responded coming back. It was just uh, an embarrassing goal and uh, it really set the tone for the night for us. And so, um, uh, yeah, there's, you know, obviously other reasons or excuses, uh, but we can't lay them all out there. And uh, we've got to bounce back. We've got to be ready to play the next game for in our league and then uh, again be ready for, uh, for Zoo come uh, next week. Uh, so, you know, we got, you know, work cut out for us. Uh, you know, we got a good club. Uh, we uh, um, just uh, obviously need to be, uh, we got to be <laughs> better. So that's the only answer. So thank you very much. Thanks, Don, for the summary. So are there any questions? Gibt es Fragen uh, der Kollegen? Mm -hmm. Da ist eine Frage, Günther Klein, Münchner Merkur und TZ. Bitte, Günther. Yeah, question to both coaches. First to Dan. Uh, you played Munich in the preseason in Kitzbühel, and, um, and it seemed to be like a, like a blueprint or a, or a déjà vu because you were ahead five goals uh, at uh, around 30 minutes. So what was the difference tonight uh, comparing with the game in Kitzbühel? And question to Don, um, Daniel Alavena did a fine job when he replaced Danny Austinbergen. When will be the time for him to be in the starting? Uh, well, we'll let you know, uh, you know, one of these next days. Uh, so that's basically what you know, we do. We'll, we, uh, we inform our goaltenders uh, the day before the game, and then uh, so that's when we'll, what we'll wait for. Yeah, I would say both teams came a, a bit longer on the way in their process since preseason in Kitzbühel. Uh, so it was a totally different game, and I don't think any of the teams brought a lot from early in August, um, but I think we know that Munich is a high competitive team and, and uh, we're just on the halfway mark, but we, we set, us, set us up here now and, and uh, there are things in our game that we still want to polish even if we got a 5-1 win here today and we know that we got to be on our toes in, uh, in, a, in next Wednesday when they come to two, so yeah. Gibt es weitere Fragen? Ja, Günter Klein hat noch mal eine Nachfrage, bitte. Ja, noch eine Nachfrage. About Daniel Elovena. 
maybe you can tell some words about his development because he had two, two games now when he came in and uh, he's still Mr. 100% so far. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think that answers a uh, you know a lot of questions for goaltenders. Um, so um, you know we can look for uh, for Daniel Elevena in the future, uh, and uh, we'll let you know uh, when we make that change. <laughs> da gibt es jetzt glaube ich keine weitere. He's off to a good start. <laughs> da gibt es dann keine weitere Nachfrage mehr. Gibt es sonst noch ähm, Fragen? Sehe ich keine mehr. Dann darf ich noch kurz ähm, anmerken. München, jetzt in zwei Tagen, auswärts in Bremerhaven, 19.30 Uhr, ähm, DEL, dann das nächste Heimspiel für Red Bull München am Sonntag gegen Augsburg und dann geht es im Rückspiel in Zug um das Weiterkommen. Dann bedanke ich mich bei beiden Coaches, thanks, Dan und Ton und ähm, wünsche natürlich den Gästen eine gute und gesunde Heimfahrt, guten safe home trip back to Zug und äh, ich sage danke, servus und ciao.